Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I've taken a little bit of a break, um, just with everything going on, with getting engaged, um, and just work and dance and COVID and everything. I just had to take a break. Uh, my mind wasn't in the focusing mood for filming a YouTube video. But today we are here, uh, and I'm so excited because not only are we going to do a video today, but this is the first video with the new lighting equipment. As you can tell, I'm a little bit more bright. I'm a little bit more lit. Uh, that's because you guys all know that I started a GoFundMe page here about a month and a half ago. And this GoFundMe page was supposed to help me buy YouTube equipment, so lighting equipment, backdrops, camera, stuff like that. It's still up right now if you guys want to go uh, donate. Uh, there have been three amazing donators. Um, the one that I can talk about, because they're the only one that didn't do anonymous, is Mel B from TikTok. I will take her in the description box below, you guys. But she donated um, some money to the GoFundMe page and that the money that she donated allows me to give her a YouTube shout out just like this one. So thank you so much Mel B for helping make this come true. Um, honestly, it's kind of like surreal seeing like all these lights around me. Um, a little bit about the lights. I was looking into getting a Amazon like set package for YouTube filming. Um, and it comes with like a backdrop and light boxes and all this stuff. And after reading into it, all the comments were like, it's not the best. It's great. It's good if you're a beginner. Uh, it's good if you want it to last a few months. But I'm like, I don't want to spend the hard earned money that you guys gave to me and my own money for something that's going to break. I don't think that's right I don't think that's cool so I waited until the perfect set came along and one of my friends clique uh he was selling his old professional YouTube or professional video lighting uh these light boxes are so bright and crazy enough they aren't even on full blast right now uh if they were on full blast I don't think I could be seeing you guys right now and I want to see you guys uh but yeah I will, on my TikTok, there's a little video of the light setup, uh, and I might do a future video of my full setup later on once I get a backdrop and everything. But for right now, we're still in my spare bedroom, but the window is closed, so, I, so I'm, I'm not getting a glare. This is all professional lights. I'm so excited. So thank you again, Mel B, and the two other donators that donated to the GoFundMe. Okay, now that we're done talking about lights, let's get to the real reason that we are here today. And the reason that we are here today is Gemini Collective. You guys know that I have been such a huge fan of Gemini Collective ever since she started back in May. Um, I've ordered from her more times than I care to admit because my bank account doesn't like to admit it. But her products are honestly amazing. So today, we are going to unbox the last package that I got. Yes, I've already unboxed it on TikTok. Shh, they don't need to know that. Um, but we're going to unbox it here on YouTube, play with some of the new stuff today, and see where it takes us. So in here, you guys always know that the packaging is always A+. Uh, I did take out the stickers and postcards that I already came with, just because, again, I've already unboxed this. But like you guys, beautiful. I ordered a lot, so we're gonna go through the box and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So first up in the order is three of my BK lashes. Um, me and Jesse, we've grown very close together the last few months and honestly, she's one of my best friends forever. Uh, she swings ideas to me all the time and I give her feedback and it's a very like friendly work relationship if that makes sense and she said that she wanted to create a lash called BK so aka makeup BK over on TikTok um these she first sent me these lashes on my second last order ago she was like oh I want you to try some of these lashes out just to get another person's opinion and honestly these lashes you guys they look crazy but they are one of the nicest lashes out there uh, they allow you to see the entire look that you did on your eyes rather than take it away. 
Um, I ordered three pairs because, like, honestly, I love them that much. And these new packaging, like, goals, let's say. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these, you guys. The next lash that I got is in the style Medusa. It's very similar to what actually my lash is, just a little bit more full. It's very wispy, still allows you to see the eye look. Uh, but yeah, this is in the style Medusa. The next lash is probably her most natural lash out there. And these are in the style Lilith. These ones are so light and airy that they're just going to give you a beautiful length to your lash without actually going overboard. But yeah, I absolutely love these and I can't wait to wear these on like no makeup makeup days. Ugh, yes. Next, she gifted me the style Butterfly. These ones are like full-on drag lashes, so I could not wear these every single day. These are like when I block my brows and do the full bam look, that is what these are for. Next up is probably the cutest makeup packaging I've ever got in my life. Um, so Jessie Gemini, she partnered up with Meg's Design. Um, she does these beautiful homemade earrings and necklaces and bracelets and everything like that. She is absolutely amazing and she's in, in school for I believe art design. Um, and she designed this logo for Gemini and her latte lashes. Um, and like there's this little like Starbucks label and it's so cute you guys. And then the lashes come in here. I, this packaging and just everything about this is ugh, beautiful. Next up, you already know that I had to get more lash glues because her lash glue is my only lash glue that I use. I had to try and use the duo lash glue here a couple weeks ago when I ran out and I cried. I, I cried because it doesn't stay on the same as these. Like this is cement on the eyes without actually feeling like it's cement, if that makes sense. But yeah, I ordered three of the her glues. Next up, she came out with a freaking face primer. I'm sorry, it's, so this is the Prep and Prime Moisture Lock Primer. Uh, this is 1.05 fluid ounces in here. And I opened this up and I put it on my skin here the other day, or, few hours ago actually and so hydrating uh plus like this packaging is just super cute it's a little pump so it's very hygienic uh so we're gonna be using this today then the next thing is her new goddess glow highlighter palette she just launched this and i was like well duh i have to i i have to right so this is the packaging super cute super sleek and then you open it up and like I've already swatched it, yes. But do you guys see this? Is it coming across on camera? Like, these highlighters, I'm just gonna swatch a few, you guys, just so you can see how freaking bomb ass these are. So, like, I'm gonna go one, two, and, like, I'm sorry, what? Like, I don't know if this is picking up on camera, you guys, but oh my god, oh my god, so good. But yeah, I'm going to be using those today as well. Okay, I'm going to go do my brows off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I totally didn't tell you guys what this video is. So, not only did I receive a Gemini order, I decided today to sit down and actually use almost all of her products that I have right now. So we're gonna jump into her three eyeshadow palettes. So her Psych, her Chrysalis, and Monarch palette. We're also gonna hop into the Halloween collection. We're gonna play with that a little bit more. And then obviously we're gonna finish off with the highlighter. Um, so I'm gonna go and do a eye look using those three palettes and I'll be right back. And we are back with the eyes all done. No lashes or liner yet. Uh, that'll come a little bit later. But the main palette that I used was the Chrysalis palette for the top layer. And then I used the Monarch palette for the purple and burgundy on the bottom. And then I also went in with the new highlight palette on my lids itself. And oh my god, you guys. Like, I am obsessed with the formula of this highlighter. Like, unbelievable and I forgot how much I love these palette 
Um, so I'm gonna go and actually we're gonna prime my face together because we have the new primer to try. So like I said before, I have swatches on my hand but I haven't actually put it on my face. So always make sure you shake up your primers. I'm gonna put some right on the back of my hand. Two pumps should be, should cover my fat face. And we're just gonna take my fingers, like it's super hydrating you guys. And it feels like a very soft lotion, almost. But it kind of gives you a little bit of tackiness, which I really like in a primer. Um, again, I use a lot of primer because I'm a, I tend to fall a little bit more on the drier side. So a hydrating primer like this is honestly what I go for most of the time. So like it's a little tacky, nothing too crazy. But the real test is gonna see how foundation and concealer lay underneath it. Okay, now that we have the primer on, uh, first thoughts when it's on, it's a little bit tacky, feels very hydrating, doesn't feel sticky like a lot of primers do but it feels like my face just got a really nice high dose of hydration. So I'm gonna go do foundation, concealer, contour, all that, and I'll come back before the highlight part. And we are back with the base all done. Um, impressions of the primer. I am actually shocked, to be honest. Um, a lot of face primers out there, they don't give me enough hydration. Uh, because I have super dehydrated skin. I found the primers that like work perfectly with my skin and I think I just found a new one. Um, wow, like my face looks almost face tuned in a way, but it's not. Um, it, it is making the foundation crease a little bit in my smile lines, which normally happens. Um, but like everywhere else, it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. So we are going to try the new highlight formula. I haven't tried this on my face. I've only done it on my eyeballs, but not like actually as highlights. So we're going to try that together. First impressions in real time. You guys are going to see it. So I'm going to tip dip into actually all three of the top ones. I feel like I just did a lot. I'm gonna tap off a little bit. And we're gonna go to town. Um. Uh, what the f I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but you guys, this might be one of the most blinding highlights I own in my collection. Um, the only negative side, I'm gonna say this, is when I look straight onto the camera, I'm seeing my reflection in my phone, is that I see a little shadow cast right here. So it just creates rather a, a dark moment rather than like, bam. But I think that's my only complaint but like, it melts into the skin. It's, it looks like glass on the skin, to be honest. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. I'm just gonna do a little, a little bit of my, oh, okay, that was a lot. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was a lot. Going right on my Cupid's bow. A little on my chin, a little on my nosies. Okay. Holy poops. Holy crap -a Um, Jesse, Gemini, you freaking killed this. I don't know how you got this formula to be as bold and as smooth as possible because normally when you guys see these formulas they are so dry and chalky but these oh my 
god, and I even have them on the lid. So I'm gonna go put on a lash and I'll be right back to get my final thoughts, you guys. And we are back with the full face on. I just threw a nice little gloss on through the strawberry lemonade gloss from Gemini. Uh, one of my favorite glosses, actually. It's not sticky, super hydrating, and tastes delicious. Mmm, oh, I just got a big old glove. Oh, mmm, mmm. Here we go. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so recap. Um, I love everything that I got in my package today. Obviously, I love my lashes, you guys. These are the lashes right here, BK. Go to her uh, website to check and see if they're still in stock. They might have sold out. Uh, but they are absolutely beautiful, you guys. Uh, very good quality. Like, I have worn this pair, no joke, at least 40 times. It's been really the only lash that I've been wearing for the past month and a half. Um, and they're still lasting. So beautiful quality, great quality, and the pricing is really good too, you guys. Um, the primer, I absolutely love. Obviously, I'm going to let it sit into the skin and see how it reacts. Uh, give it about an hour. Um, but honestly, at this rate, I don't see it breaking apart at all. The highlight, you guys, is bomb. I will be putting this into my kit, into my professional makeup kit, within the next, uh, on my next order, I'm going to place a order for another one because like this highlight you guys it's glass it is absolutely beautiful um but yeah like i am i love gemini you guys you guys know that so thank you jesse for creating bomb ass products and allowing people like me to use them um and also have my own lash after you uh, also having my own lash after me not after you but after me does that make sense? Okay, but anyways, thank you guys so much for joining, and I'm going to peace out. Bye!